Welcome to AMZ Seller Real Talk. Yay. Yay. How's it going, guys? Doing good. Good. Awesome. Um, for anyone who doesn't know the clan here, um, Curtis Johnson, president managed by Sats. Jade Coleman, the amazing, lovely, um, she, she's a seller, 10-year seller, um, also works with us kind of just really on a consulting level it sometimes seems like and feels like but um and then now uh, we have mark jepson here who is the guest for today who is the uh, coo of managed by stats as well as a i would consider you a successful seller on sure Amazon. sure yeah. yeah um good well happy to have you on thank you happy yeah. to be here yeah and then in the dark in the back is um justin coleman i am <laughs> <laughs> Everybody puts Justin in the corner. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is awesome. We hide him. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's I'm fine. out of view of the general public <laughs> eye. Yeah, <that> <laughs> <laughs> For good reason. Very good. Okay, so then um, we, I know that we have a lot of ground that we want to cover, so I figure we just dive right into it. Sounds good. So um, first thing, it's kind of funny because I'm interviewing him, but I probably know the answer to every single question. Well, then you should let me ask the Well, no, 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 what I mean is like, <laughs> the, okay, for anyone who doesn't know, so my wife and his wife are sisters. <laughs> so, you know, it's sort of a family connection. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Not sort of. That is definitely a family connection. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah, Blood unquestionably. Connection. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, what's your background for the viewers, not for me? Yeah. Um, geez. Okay. So, I have about eight years worth of uh, sales background. So, managing a sales team. Um, so uh, that kind of got me into the whole kind of arena of uh, you know selling products online. And uh, my father got me into uh, the whole Amazon kind of business yeah. uh, back in 2000, late 2014. And so I uh, just kind of dived in. Uh, I did uh, ASM. Uh, I think it was ASM4 at the time. Mm. And um, Which one did you do? ASM4. ASM4. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Cool. There cool. you go. Yeah. yeah. So it was a uh, really good training. I, I you know, spent uh, every minute I could on it and um, picked my first product and, uh, you know, sourced it from China and got it, you know, got it rolling. and. Um, you know, it was definitely exciting times. Uh, I had a newborn at the time as well. And, um, yeah, so kind of built it up and, and kind of was trying to basically make it work and make it go. And, uh, you know, uh, for all those, uh, old school sellers, it was a uh, resistance bands. So, uh, you know, <laughs> there you go. You don't, uh, you don't That's do those banned anymore. Right now. Yeah. So <laughs> no. resistance bands, cell phone cases, yeah. what else was yeah. a spatula? Yeah. If, you're, like if, on you're, Amazon. if you're in there early, you're good. You got a good base. You got a good sales, you know, at BSR and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, so it was, I mean, it was doing good. I was doing good. I was in there early, uh, for that category. And, uh, was uh, able to get it rolling and, and get some good sales um, back in the pioneer days of Amazon. And uh, so, you know, it's, I, I unfortunately did some, uh, some grave mistakes in that business. I uh, basically wasn't putting everything I was making back into it to help it expand. Okay. I was taking a little bit of stuff off the side there, right. which I uh, probably shouldn't have. Um, but I've evolved, learned from my mistakes, learned from my experience, um, you know, uh, expanded, was able to kind of expand out for the, with the context that I had. Uh, from that initial uh, uh, line of products, and uh, and then just went from there. So been learning ever since. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, and you know, obviously you're a jack of all trades because you don't just obviously sell. You're also the you know chief operations officer for Managed by Stats, right? Which is kind of cool because that means you're intimately connected as a seller, but then you also know this tool suite. Yes. very well yes you yeah designed yeah. half the tool suite yes <laughs> exactly yes help put it all together yeah exactly so then um for everyone who obviously doesn't know where okay so what is the business landscape for you right now how is your brand doing obviously you know we also just had prime day so i'm sure that was a degree of excitement yes yeah um are so you know let's go back a little bit even further back into you know we've had obviously the whole covid situation this year yeah um so uh i have a brand of supplements and uh so that was in a uh, category of products that didn't get uh you know nixed or didn't get uh suppressed or held back by yeah. amazon on, yeah. on certain areas so i was fortunate in that area we um, just did a story on that yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it it was definitely um interesting 
Um, but um, we actually did a lot better during that whole time period. It was, you know, yep. it's, it's supplements, it's people, you know, people yeah, are staying home, they want, you know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, we did what we actually did really well for that whole time period. And, um, but yeah, it's doing great. I mean, it took, it took a lot of, um, a lot of learning from mistakes, really. You know, yeah. this is a whole supplements area, which there's a, it's a whole different kettle of fish from resistance bands or, or <laughs> some other physical product that you buy once. Yes. The only and, commonality uh, is like they both have to do with the body. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. This one you ingest, the other one you don't. Yeah, right? you don't so, ingest. Yeah. yeah so there's yeah. we we learned a lot. We've you know we've definitely uh, evolved. Um, you know, learned how to. Uh, just tons of different aspects of, of how to deal with that whole area of products to sell on Amazon. And, um, but it's, it's doing really well. It's, uh, it's expanding as a business. We have a lot of, uh, a lot of repeat buyers. I think about like a 15% repeat buyer uh, percentage. So it's- For uh, anyone who doesn't know, what's kind of the average for, a, for that type, like a reconsumed sort of product? I think it's, uh, I mean, I don't know. Because I don't have all the metrics from different a lot of different people, but I would say you know anywhere. But that, I guess in that is a good ten ten percent okay. is probably a good yeah. uh, repeat yeah. buyer uh, uh, percent. So you know, um, yeah, like a, another friend of mine who has a, a another uh, consumable products. Uh, it's not supplements, but consum consumable. Uh, I think he has like a twelve percent. You know, he's a lot higher volume than mine, but still, you kind of you kind of think with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's been it's been moving uh, nicely. It's been building itself up. Um, we have, you know, we're about to launch uh, three or four other products uh, that you know, go along with it. So it's definitely moving in the right direction. That's awesome. Yeah. So now you and I came in roughly the same time with ASM. Now um, we have seen PPC on Amazon evolve <laughs> so much. Yes. Can you can you tell people what? what you experienced back in the day and how, how it's going today? Absolutely. Um, back in the day, you know, you'll hear some people say it was like the wild, wild west. It yeah. was, it was, everything was, you know, you do one thing and you make huge success with it. Um, yeah. and so, yeah, back in the day it was, you know, you, you create a simple ad and you get it going and you're, 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 you have so much of the revenue share or the uh, the exposure because right. there's mm -hmm. not a billion of people doing that. Mm -hmm. um, so your exposure gets just you know a thousand x than what it is right now. Right. Um, yeah. So it was it was you know you put up an ad and you you'd get sales. You you see stuff happening uh, immediately. Yeah. Um, and the conversion rate was good because there wasn't a whole bunch of other people doing it and whatnot. Right. So you had a, a bit of a, a easier time creating and, and just getting stuff flowing. Um, and you didn't really have to mess with it. You, you didn't just have put to, it up yeah. there and you didn't That's have right. to think about it. That's right. You kind of just it's go, great. okay, I, I think it's I need great. to just bid this or whatever, you kind of, you know, yeah. whatever, and maybe make some adjustments here or there, do your, do your keyword research. But yeah. It, you know, you didn't have to do a lot of tweaking, a lot of uh, babying it along. So yeah. now yeah. I'm going to add to this a little bit because there was also a time where Amazon would pay for Google ads for your oh, product. Yeah. Do you remember they did yes. that for hours? Yes. Yep. Really? So, oh yeah. yeah. So yeah. if you if you were selling well enough, they paid Google for ads to. They would to, advertise your yeah, product. Yeah, they mm -hmm. would advertise mm -hmm. your product. And I remember seeing that one day going, oh my God, there's somebody competing with us. But no, it went to our listing. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cause we were Amazon's choice for years, years, years yeah, and years. Amazon's obviously a different beast now. They're being, oh, yeah. you know, investigated by congressional you know, bodies to make sure they're not a monopoly. So yeah. Yeah. they obviously have gotten to that size. That yeah. They don't and, have the same worries. Right. But it's evolved. It's evolved, you know, going through the, the whole Google thing, you know, now they have, um, they have, you know, Amazon managers that will reach out to you if you're big enough saying, Hey, well, you know, we'll help manage your account or do oh, suggested, yeah. you yeah. know, suggested changes for your account. Um, there's a lot of other, you know, software and companies that have come out in the last several years. Um, and in the last, you know, three or four years, uh, AI has really been coming up more and more and more on that. Um, as you know, if you have more than 10 products, uh, now, Back in the day, you could have five, ten products and just kind of set it up and get it rolling and, and right. be fine. You know, yeah. maybe look at it once a month um, for for major adjustments. You mm -hmm. know, peek into it every couple mm -hmm. weeks or whatever to make you know bid adjustments, whatever. But now it's it's you know, 
10 products is, is a full-time job, managing it, making sure everything's tweaked correctly and you know, adjusted and pulling in the search terms and this, that, and the other thing. Yeah. So yeah, just the PPC. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, you can't, you can't just let it roll. Otherwise your money is gone. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You could make a mistake that then just yeah. goes, <laughs> spends yeah. a whole bunch of money. Yeah. Well, speaking of mistakes. So then what, what would you say? Cause obviously uh, we want to talk about PPC logic. I obviously it's a new service MBS has it's doing extremely well. But before we kind of dive into that, cause like the average seller right now or the average person just getting started probably, you know, has an idea of PPC, but like, what would you say would be the biggest mistake or error that people make with PPC from your observation with everything kind of you've gone through as a seller and with it managed by sets? Uh, probably, I would say it comes before PPC um, because PPC now is very reliant on your product. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how you build your product out, how mm -hmm. you, what kind of SEO stuff you have built into your product, yeah. and how your images are, that is really um, PPC is going to rely a lot on that. It's yeah. going to see, okay, you know. <laughs> How can it can how can it get that conversion rate mm -hmm. and the conversion rate that you want? How can you get your ACOS down to a profitable area that's going to be profitable for you? The only way you're going to be able to do that if if you if you take you know if you take all the gurus in the world and and learn from them and apply exactly what they say, you could do all that and mm -hmm. have a, a bad listing, listing right? yeah. and you'll still have a bad conversion rate no it's matter true. what you do. It's true. So it really, that's the, the kind of the biggest thing uh, about PPC, in my opinion, is having a, a good enough listing that's, you know, even if you don't have all the bells and whistles of your product being different or better than the other people's, mm -hmm. right. if it's just it's the same product, you know, um, if you've done your SEO work, you've done your research of what search terms or what keywords should you have in there and mm -hmm. where do you have them. Right. And your list and your image is good, then okay. Now we can actually do some real work. And if you do that, you know, daily grind or weekly grind of making those adjustments, finding those search terms, tweaking different things in PPC, yeah, then you'll start to see some really good results. Yeah, yeah. Justin used to get upset with me because he would be like, "Just throw the product up there. Just get it up there. Just <laughs> list it." And I'm like, "You don't understand. If I don't do it right, if I don't get my my keywords in there, and I don't I don't fix it all up." then it'll never, nothing's going to happen. It's just going to sit there. It's I just going to die. I still do that. Yeah. He still, he still <laughs> yells at me about that. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. You have to spend the time. The, yeah. No, but I think that's because Justin might be the most impatient person I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of people, but he might be the most impatient person I know. Yep, yep. He's yeah. like, shut up, get to it. <laughs> Basically. Could you get to the point, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, the other thing that I had run into the last few years on um, PPC is... Um, putting in an, an auto campaign and in the in the past you did that auto campaign and it would just roll and you'd get um, great seed words and things like that now it's picking up everything everything and you have to go through there and comb through there and um, uh, Amazon will throw a bunch of ASINs in there even if they're not even yeah. related <clears throat> to your product so I don't know if you have a lot of people that run into that or yeah, I mean, so they expanded it out. So back in the day, you would just do an auto campaign. It would mm -hmm. start doing search terms, and it would give you search term stuff. Every once in a while, you'd see a competitor ASIN in there as something that was converting well. Right. Um, now they've split it apart where the auto campaign has four different uh, groupings. Mm -hmm. It has four things inside of that auto campaign, and it's going to have two of them are competitor groupings, and the other two are keywords. So yeah, now you see a ton of competitors and we're seeing a lot more often now that um, people bidding on competitors is actually getting more better results oh, wow. than search terms. Wow. Um, so we're seeing a lot of that where you're seeing a lot more competitor listings, especially since they broke it out this way, mm -hmm. the auto campaign is finding that it can convert well on other people's listings. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a vital point now in the auto campaign to, to really build it out and go, okay, yeah, you have an auto campaign and a manual campaign, but now you need to have a competitor campaign as it, well. It, it's so really much. interesting. I know, and yeah. it, that's exactly what it's going to get into. <laughs> like, okay, so Jade, you've obviously been selling for 10 oh, years. Oh, yes. Danan, you've been, you know, assisting in her selling for 10 years. You've been selling for He's, he's basically least, cracking the whip yeah, in the whoosh, background. Whoosh. You've been selling for years as well. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, just about to get started. It's <laughs> overwhelming. It's so overwhelming. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Like I'm sitting here going, I've watched actually ASM 11 and now ASM 12 mm -hmm. once through each of them. Mm -hmm. And I'm still like, what in the heck? How am I going to like 
you know, grasp all of this. So it's just really interesting, specifically with PPC, because it seems like Amazon, like what happened with Google Ads over the years, has expanded, expanded, Absolutely. expanded, expanded. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. And they're going to probably keep doing that forever yeah. to the point where you actually, in order to get really good. Who's ringing? Huh. We need to have, we need to have like a quarter jar or something. <laughs> That's so weird. Who Not is it. that? Not, Not it. Not it. Where's that Where ring coming it? from? Ooh, the mystery of the ring. Oh boy. Is that the laptop? So it's coming from the laptop. Whose laptop? But how is it? Okay, so we, you, you. Is this, that your laptop? This, no, that's his. Oh. <laughs> He's going to have to give us all a quarter. <laughs> that's like really 1950s. Wait, a quarter, it's like whatever. <laughs> no, it's, it's like $10 at this point. Yeah, it's going to be you a $10 just interrupted. Drive. I mean, yeah, you know, you we, ruined, we all make money. You have ruined the podcast. This is why Inflation. we put him in the dark in the back. <laughs> For this the is record. why he is in the dark in the I back. have this on Do Not Disturb. That was a Google phone call. Ah, see, Google. Breaks. Oh, oh no, they were yeah. they were listening. Yeah, they were listening. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's creepy. Like, oh, we need to, so, we need to pop into this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yep. Google actually Sabotage broke through Amazon all of my PPC. security settings <laughs> and to, to yeah <laughs> to interrupt what oh, we were talking about geez. there on the Google that's ads. Terrifying. Yeah. Very well, terrifying. Shall we carry on? Let's yeah. continue. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying PPC is going to keep keep evolving. Right. I and, was saying yes. that it's going to get to the point where it's nearly impossible to not. Like you have to either be a big brand with a big team or you have mm -hmm. to kind of hand hire an outside consultant. It's getting so complicated. You already have to. I mean, I can't I can't find new products, list my products, do all the work and also every day be on PPC. Right. You know, like that's not that it's not worth it. Yeah, it's like you, you can be the solo solopreneur to start it, but if right. you want to really take it somewhere, that's not really right. A thing. So you have to have someone that does PPC for you that's dedicated to that because it just takes up so much time of the day. Absolutely. And when you're just getting started, so like, you know, yeah, there's a lot that can be daunting and there's a lot to learn, there's a lot to immerse yourself into mm -hmm. but at the same time if you have you know um a couple things that you do you know mm -hmm. like you know yes you have this many things to do but if you just say okay i need to have you know these five things to do and i do those for this month um you can get started you sure can, you know you you get your <laughs> listing you know up and running you get the seo of it mm -hmm. all good mm -hmm. um you you get some some kind of uh reviews in there mm -hmm. and some kind of you know credibility and whatnot and then you can start doing some advertising. Um, if you have one or a couple of products, you can you can do that the advertising. You know, every couple of weeks, spend a couple hours, mm -hmm. maybe take a day and do advertising for that day. Right. Um, doing all the reports. You know, you need to you need to learn what all that is that you should do, mm -hmm. and the sequence that you should do it in, and the importance of it, and why. Um, but then doing it, you can do that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's time consuming, but yeah. you can do that as a, a you know entrepreneur. You can say, okay, good, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that and, and roll through that for that product. It's also, that's the business. Yeah. Right. Like it might be time consuming, but you know, like going to a job is time consuming, but that's what you're doing. That's right, your job. right. But yeah, what, exactly. what I mean, what I mean is now you're a, you're, you've got your product and you've got everything up and you're, you're rolling, but is it, you know, is it worth your time to sit down every single day and go through the PPC because if you don't, you're going to spend all your money. Right. You right, know. Right. So, so what's the solution these days? Because hiring a VA, like that's a little nerve wracking because yeah. you have to teach them and yeah. you know, do they do they understand? Like, that's yeah. a, there's a lot of nuances there. It's yeah. terrible because this totally sounds like we're trying to sell PPC logic. Well, it's like, I'm not. This I'm not literally well, sells like a sales pitch, but it's so true. No, it's. it's I I'll, mean, for I'll me, in my though. business, I'm not using PPC logic yet, and I'm not using anything yet. I'm. I'm. I've been doing it myself, yeah. and I'm just. I'm. I'm done. I'm done. I just want to give that as like a. You know, like a. <laughs> Yeah. Disclosure. Like, yeah. it's funny. This sounds like, because we yeah. haven't even like said, what is PPC logic? Yeah. But like, it, I'm giving a disclosure. It's like, I don't care who we sat down to interview. Yeah. Right. We would still have this same story. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And the truth of the matter is this like, <clears throat> If you're gonna go with a, a managed service, you yeah. obviously need to be able to pay for that managed service. Yes. Mm -hmm. You need to be at a level in that brand, not out of your money from something else, right? right. You need to be at a level uh, right. with that product where you can actually pay for, for a service like that. Exactly. And, and you also need to understand it yourself before you go and pay someone else to do it. It's very important to have a fundamental. At least because then you, yeah, 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 because then you think, then you, you know, if they're going to be managing it and doing things that they know are standard operating procedures, mm -hmm. and you don't 
know that, then you could be like, well, no, don't do that. But then yeah. that's going to ruin right. your business. Yeah. If they if they know what they're doing. Okay. So, good. Why don't we double back? Because I realized, you know, we're starting to get into kind of like why is it important? But why don't we actually just take it on a one on one level? What is PPC Logic? So PPC Logic is a combination of uh, the use of AI to do all the menial work. So the you know basically setting a, a target ACOS. What is a target ACOS for for some of our newer? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So if you are selling something on Amazon, you get a sale, um, but it costs you a certain amount of money to get that sale. Mm -hmm. There's a percentage of how much you have to spend compared to how much you're making, right? Right. So that's advertising cost of sales. Right. So how much you advertise, money wise, to get how much sales? So like if you sold a hundred dollars or you got a hundred dollars in terms of you know gross revenue from selling and it cost you thirty dollars of that hundred to bring in those sales you would have a thirty percent mm -hmm. correct mm -hmm. cost exactly so if you have a target acos it's what acos do you want to get to good mm -hmm. and um you know you could have if you just get up and running and you start selling <clears throat> you could have an acos of 50 percent right right and you want to get your target acos to something lower than that the lower the better mm -hmm. in most cases um so that you can be profitable mm -hmm. because you could be spending five dollars on advertising uh right. to get one sale and that could be all of your profits right depending on your product and, and what kind of profits you have so um, you have a target ACOS that you want to go for, and the AI can basically take that and go, okay, what? how many impressions is this product getting or this search term getting? Mm -hmm. um, is it getting any clicks? If it is getting clicks, people are clicking on your ad. <clears throat> how is it converting? How many clicks does it take to get a conversion, right. right, to get a sale? Yeah. And that's then, you know, so the AI will look at all that stuff and do all that menial work every day. Mm -hmm. It'll also do all the background search terms, search, so you, you know, need to know which search terms are actually resulting in and sales. And it's doing that a lot. Yeah. It's doing that day. multiple times a day. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so it'll do that for all your search terms, for all your products that you do that. And it, it it's, it, you know, it'll create the campaigns. It does, it's a full service, you know, AI man, or uh, PPC management thing in itself. Uh, the way it was built was very conservative, so mm -hmm. it's going to start out very, very low and kind of build up from there. So we coupled that uh, AI, and there's many AIs out there, um, but we coupled that kind of logic mm -hmm. of an AI with uh, a management mm -hmm. because what we found, you know, we've been looking at AIs ourselves for our own brands mm -hmm. um, for the last couple of years. We've been testing several of them out. And there were certain things that we didn't appreciate uh, about the AIs. Um, giving full control over to an AI, AI. I just realized one thing. Let's double back because someone pointed this out to me the other day. Um, AI, artificial intelligence. What is artificial intelligence? It's basically something that's going to be learning from experience. Okay. So it needs to do something, see what results it gets and then base its next decision off of that result, but also based off of a goal. If any of you saw Chappie, that would be a perfect example. <laughs> or perhaps <laughs> Terminator. Or Terminator. <laughs> yeah. The point is it's like, a, it's like a very intelligent baby that knows nothing until it knows something and then it builds on that something until it knows more and more. Exactly. And more. Otherwise, other people have, you know, considered it like machine learning. It's like the way a machine would learn something if you don't, give it information to kind of start with you just point it in a direction right mm -hmm. right okay and it's funny because when you look at ai like you could go you know as a seller as a seller mm -hmm. who's been selling for mm -hmm. years we go okay we know certain search terms or certain things that should get results we are thinking with our product right. the ai can't do that it has to it has to learn so where something could take us six months to learn as a human, and we kind of know over, you know, from experience mm -hmm, now mm -hmm. of what is good, what's not, the AI has to do all that, and it mm -hmm. has to do it fast. If you make it take six months, yeah, you're going to be horrible. You're right? not going to keep. Bye, you're not going to keep doing it if right. it takes six months. The yeah. AI can do it really, really fast. Yeah. Right. So it'll be able to do all that stuff, you know, in a couple of weeks. But so going back, it's you know, it, it basically we want the AI to be able to do all these, you know, menial, but very important right. tasks. Right, right. Um, but at the same time, we want to be able to manage and control and guide that AI. Yeah. And um, that's kind of what we built PPC Logic 
as. So it's a managed service mm -hmm. where we, with the clients, we are uh, creating strategies, creating uh, uh, you know goals that we right. want to achieve. So you could have many goals. You could have one goal. You could say, I want to get my ACUS to a certain range. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the one goal. You could have 10 products and each one of those could be in a different life cycle of okay. where that thing is. You know, it could be launching, it could be a new product that you're launching out, uh, starting off. It could be a product that you've had for years and it's been doing okay and you mm -hmm. want to get it to another level. Mm -hmm. It could be uh, an ASIN that is been there for years as, you know, basically not selling anything and you want to kind of relaunch it. Right, or revive it. From revive it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have different things that you can do. You can manipulate for the AI to, uh, to specifically have strategies or things that it does to accommodate that ASIN in, in its life cycle. Yeah. Forgive my ignorance though, because like, what what are the nuances in that? Because all of those sound like I just want new, more sales. <laughs> well, as an example, you could have a new product that you want to rank. Okay. So you want to launch it. And uh, this dives into a whole other aspect of Amazon, but when you launch a new product, you have a certain time that you want to get a lot of sales in your you honeymoon period. your honeymoon yeah. period right <laughs> so you want to have that launch period be you know be successful so there's different things you can do um it's not advised to have ppc be the core thing for launching right but if you do certain things to get a launch going and then you now want to uh, uh, accompany that with AI or have the AI thinking with that or excluding certain things, um, you can have the AI manipulated for that purpose. Mm. Um, if you have one that's selling, you know, at a, at a certain range and you want to get it to another range where it's selling, you know, hundred plus more per day or something like that, there's, a, you know, you can manipulate the AI to think and, and work in that direction. I see. Mm -hmm. So there's certain things that work under certain circumstances that don't work well in other circumstances, in, in right. like a rolling product. Okay. Exactly, and that's that's the that's what we, the reason why we built it this way is so that we can actually have manage. You know, you can you can be guiding the AI. Mm -hmm. The AI w is built a certain way to think a certain way. Um, there's many different ways that people build the AIs, but it has it's going to have a set sequence of things that it's going to think with and it's going to do, and. Uh, you know, you can't just leave it up to that. You you want to be able to manage that and say, right. hey, do these different things to 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 adjust things in in, in the appropriate area. Right. That makes sense. My question. Okay, so now as a seller, why wouldn't I just go hire someone um, to work in house for me versus doing like an AI service and and um, you know what PPC Logic has? Um, well, so if you're if you're starting off and you're kind of building up to. Uh, higher ranges mm -hmm. then yeah okay having someone know or yourself knowing and then doing and then teaching mm -hmm. and then hiring someone who can then do those things um that's a good way to good way to, to segue mm -hmm. yeah um but at the end of the day that person's only going to be able to do so much yeah. so if you have five or ten products and they're selling you know well you know ten thousand dollars a month or more or something like that mm -hmm. that person can probably manage them as a full-time job yeah um you're gonna have to pay him. You're gonna have to pay what you're paying on PPC uh, to Amazon. So, you know, there's there's that aspect of it. But when, if the if one of those products, just one of them, mm -hmm. is a really big seller yeah. and is converting on a lot of keywords, mm -hmm. the management of that can be very time consuming. Mm. And so that person is gonna have is gonna be very busy. Yeah. yeah. Um, Additionally, he's AI not going to be. doesn't fatigue, nor does it ask for a raise. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, was, I was actually going to say something to that effect. It also won't let you know that it's quitting to move to Alaska. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm going to sell for your closest competitor, actually. I'm yes. pregnant. Um, yeah. I can yeah. be here for another. <laughs> yep. So PPC Logic does not get pregnant. At least so there not will not yet. be more. Yeah. <laughs> so we're it not at the learn. point where yeah, we don't have more AI babies. Then. Yeah. yeah okay, we've good. cut off its access to Google. So so yes. it hasn't learned to hate humans yet. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's, uh, you know, but then of course it also gets to the point of like that person is not going to be making adjustments on a daily basis. Right. Um, um, which is kind of what you need for a, for, for getting into a larger area. You need yeah. that yeah. AI to be, you need the, whatever's managing the PPC needs to be on it and it needs to be finding those things. Um, search terms, you know, you could have seasonality where you have search terms come become very relevant, like mm. masks, right? Mm -hmm. uh, they were nowhere on the radar before. Mm -hmm. Now they're you know huge. Yeah. So or pumpkins or, or yeah, 
Christmas exactly. trees or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. You could have variations of, of search terms that sure. could become very relevant. Your guy who's managing it might not see that for two weeks or a month or whatever, mm. because he might not be doing the scraping of the search terms every week or every day. Right. Whereas the AI will be going, it's checking all that stuff and it sees those, you know, the volume of impressions and that, that relevancy of that search term. And so it, it's, it just, it's going to take a, the time out of, out of doing all that management stuff uh, yeah. of someone doing it. Um, but it also does it just, you know, a thousand times faster than a human could actually ever do. Right. Yeah. yeah. And so especially if you get, more yeah. yeah. And if you have more than 10 products, it's, it's, that becomes, makes sense. It becomes a problem for yeah. a human to, to really be on top of, of handling it at all. Right. Yeah. Now, um, I know there's two things that I think are important to also talk about in relation to it. Cause we kind of, kind of touched upon like what it is, right? Mm -hmm. But it's not right for everyone. No. Right? So who is the market? for a service like this? It's really um, what we've been, kind of, we've been testing a few things and what we've found is that the um, kind of the, the, the lowest we wanna go or the lowest that the AI is gonna be um, comfortable with mm -hmm. because you know it has a certain speed it needs to go at right. and it has a certain range that it wants to do and it, 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 it flows at a certain pace. Mm -hmm. And if you're doing anything below about $10,000 a month. Mm -hmm. um, now to clarify, Ten thousand dollars a month in terms of ad spend, or in terms of your gross uh, revenue. 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 Okay. Gross revenue, ten thousand dollars. Right, and uh, you know you could be spending five hundred bucks or two thousand mm bucks -hmm. and be getting ten thousand, right? right? So, <clears throat> or you can spend, be spending more. But um, the point is, is like you know if you're if you have a product that is uh, established enough um, and is. Uh, already converting, mm -hmm. you know, the AI can really take that and, and, and ramp it boost up. It, yeah, right. and really boost it and just manage it a lot, lot better and faster. Um, if you're below that, yeah, the AI can work for you. It's 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 hard. The AI is is fighting with, you know, conversion rate issues. It's, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it it is built to, to get you better conversion rates. But if you're converting at 200%, which is really, really high, really, yes. really bad. Yes, yes. Uh, you're losing a lot of money. Right. Yeah. You're um, basically paying. Yeah. It's going to be taking time. It, 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 you know, PPC is a, a, uh, time game. Yeah. You know, you need to have the, there's a, um, an algorithm that Amazon has that is one of the aspects, one of the important aspects it has is how long have you been advertising for? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, in that campaign. So. Do, 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 Dana, do, do, fix do, do, the light. That one? Is that, no, it's not is that right one. there. Oh. Jade's in the dark. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to take your headphones yeah, It's off. so funny having a new podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how many MBS staff does it take to screw in a light bulb? Mm. Um, okay, so then, um, since I... I think yeah. a problem. Oh, wow, we didn't even plug it in. What? So these lights have batteries, but then they also can plug in. So, <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay. Um, so... Now I already know how this goes because we did that. We did that little dry run webinar for um, PPC Logic, and some people were like, "I haven't even started selling, but can I sign up for PPC Logic anyways?" And it's and I understand why somebody might ask that, but is it really one of those things? Like, if someone has all the money in the world to throw at, let's say they come into this thing hot and they're they've got their product, they just got their listing out, they've got a couple of reviews, and they're like, I want to do PPC Logic. Is it just straight up a bad idea if they're under 10,000? Or can no. someone throw all the money <clears throat> Someone, Yeah, you can definitely do it. Um, you know, we've seen people where they've just getting started out and it's a brand new product. They mm -hmm. got, you know, uh, six reviews on it uh, or even ratings at this point. Um, and it converts. Yeah. So the, the, the it goes back to, the, the the image the listing itself yeah. is that a, a converting product is sure. it, it are, are people going to see it are they going to see your ad and go oh i might want that click yeah. right if so we've seen people that have good products it just it just gets going okay. Whoosh, just flies right up yeah um you know we've we've taken people that have you know large amount of products some of them are are you know been doing really really well and we can get them to higher levels right but when you're starting off you're you're you know making a couple hundred dollars or if that day um <laughs> and you don't have a big bank account and you don't have a big bank up. account you yeah know, you're, you're, you're you know doing everything off the card or whatever right or like you said putting the money back into the the company right, yeah, and right. not taking anything out so it's not like a hard no below ten thousand. it's right. just you just have to realize that below that point there are a couple more factors to take into consideration yeah. you might even want to do our listing consulting 
uh, service, like that review that we do ahead yep. of time to make sure that everything's good, all exactly. of that kind of stuff first, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So that makes sense. Um, so that was obviously one of the questions of like um, the who, right? Mm -hmm. There was another question I totally forgot. Oh yeah, like cost wise, because obviously some services, ad advertising services, the, the, the pricing model can kind of feel, what's the word? Like I'm finding, I'm trying to find, I'm trying and, to find a word vulnerable. more dramatic than just, <laughs> yeah, inciting terror and hatred. <laughs> um, it can be the costly, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's the um, difference? Yeah, that's that's one of the things that we we definitely thought with when building this out. Um, we've, you know, obviously this is a a uh, service that we've added into the MBS suite, and uh, as such, we kind of we wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to be. Um, cost prohibitive yeah um, but at the same time um, relevant to where you're at so exactly. a lot of a lot of uh, AIs or PPC management services um, if they're actually doing something for you not just a you know standalone service um, the you know they're gonna price based off of either what you're spending on PPC that they have to manage for you or uh, a percent of the revenue that they right. help you make Mm -hmm. uh, or your overall revenue. Mm -hmm. um, so that can be, you know, you could have a, a management fee plus a one or two percent fee of what Ad you're spend. making or your, or your spend or whatever. That's terrifying. That's, the, that's kind <laughs> of generally what's out there. That's, you know, yeah. that's, what, that's what a lot of the companies do. And that's, uh, you know, that's a, a standard model. And not know? even just standard model on PPC, it's standard model on advertising. Like right. it's, yeah. like, I've worked with an ad agency before where it was like, yeah, you know, we want to just get your ad spend up and get your ad spend up. And you're kind of like, well, but well, you're not yet getting me any results. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. Like I'm just right. spending just boatloads of cash and not yet there. Right. So it kind of like makes it so their incentive is not tied to them actually doing really well. Right. And so that's exactly the point. And so we, we said, okay, how can we um, go away from that? Yeah. But at the same time, be you know we need to obviously it is a managed yeah. business. So you yeah. need to have you know expenses there. But um, the way that we priced it, the way that we built it out, is on uh, revenue tiers. So we don't take a portion of your spend or a portion of your revenue. It's just whatever tier of revenue you are in mm -hmm. that, for that account is you have a set uh, a flat monthly fee. Right. Mm. So you know zero to twenty five or ten thousand to twenty five. You're in a, a revenue flat rate right uh, and you go above you know into a different revenue tier you go into that new tier rate right and it's a flat monthly fee that makes so, sense because you're managing more you're having to to get in there more so. and, and it's even more though logical even than that because that from a simplistic view you could think oh well prime day just probably threw everyone up into a different tier right but I know it doesn't work that way so kind of like what is how far back is it looking to establish someone's price so um, we started off and you might need to edit this but we started off, um, <laughs> how we started off is um, looking at the past three months. Yeah. So we wanted to basically, uh, you know, the, when people start off, we go, okay, what's your 12 month revenue range? Mm -hmm. And then that, you know, puts you into a certain range. But we look at your last three months and say, okay, what revenue tier are you in for mm -hmm. three months? And then we don't change your revenue tier, tier unless you've been in the new tier or you know whether it's higher or lower right. uh, for three solid months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that way you're not seeing spikes or, mm -hmm. or you know dips and changes in your monthly fee. Right. Um, but it's also fair to you if you have a prime great Boost. month extravaganza prime day. Yeah, exactly. Days. You could have days. you could you could go yeah <laughs> yeah. Three, four days. Yeah, right. <laughs> you could go into a new range, but then drop back. Yeah. And so we're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna penalize you for that. You right. know what I mean? Well, one month. Yeah. 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 So uh, that's that's how we're kind of looking at it, and you know, we're looking at okay, your last twelve months of of revenue. What's that average? Mm -hmm. And then what what tier does that put you into? Yeah. yeah. And it's you said you said something there that you said you mentioned the point of we might need to edit this you got to realize guys that this is not the standard model this is not like mm -hmm. what everyone does and it's you know tried and true and we know exactly what to do because there's like a thousand sops on it so mm -hmm. there might be tweaks but you got to dig like the tweaks are not gonna like benefit managed by stats more it's only we're only going to do tweaks that make sure that we're being logical in the way we look back at right. your 
you know, gross revenue. So we know that we're actually billing people the right way. Yeah. yeah. And then two, um, you guys all know this. We don't edit this podcast. No, exactly. This thing is raw. <laughs> this, this is live. So this if, is I, raw. if I jump in and I say the wrong thing as I want to do. I will smack him, but it'll be in the podcast. So. And now he's in the dark. Now, and now he's in the dark. <laughs> I'm being punished. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sign, Danan. <laughs> I don't see it that way. <laughs> Not to get political, but I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if a fly landed on your head. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, Stop I went there. It. Okay, um, good. But that's that's good on the pricing because then it's predictable with yeah. the other services. Yeah. I mean, I would be nervous because you know I I, I have some revenue on some some of my products um, have very high um, cost to me, right, and then right. some of them don't. Some of them have very low cost, so I'm looking at you know spending everything just paying for a service. Yeah, and I don't want to. Right. I don't want to do that. Yeah, right. and, and on that, like when we we had a we don't sell this product any longer, but we had a. Um, a campaign where our ACOS was 8% and it was like an eight year long campaign. We didn't need management. Yeah. It was yeah. fine. But that yeah. was, that was, you know, again, starting in back in, yeah, yeah, starting yeah. back in, yeah. uh, and then, and then what, like two or three years ago is when we stopped selling it. So that's right. Yeah. Um, but now, now if it was still running, it'd probably be costing me an arm and a leg. Yeah. So. Yep. <laughs> We'd have to start it up fresh and, yeah. and we yeah. would need PPC logic. And it's it. an evolving game. It's, yeah. This thing is like, it's funny because I've been with Managed by Stats, what, like a year and a half now? Yeah. And in a year and a half, it's completely evolved yeah. and yeah. completely different. Like, it's like you take human evolution over the last, whatever, thousands and thousands of years and just compress it into five years. Yeah. And, and that's, that's what Amazon evolves like. It's right. It's crazy. And that's the other thing as a seller. It's like trying to keep up with all the things that they change yeah. without telling you a lot of times. <laughs> right. <laughs> without yeah. telling you. Which is why we're doing news, not to put a plug in, but we want to make sure you guys keep up to date yes. on those things. So. <laughs> And you find out things that we find out. Shameless <laughs> plug. Shameless, yes. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's so true. I mean, there's yeah. different there's different uh, types of campaigns that have been released by Amazon that you might not know about. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you know the the uh, how effective those campaigns or how you know how they operate, how they work, what kind of stuff can you do with them, what should you do with them. Um, it's 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 evolving. Yeah. 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 Always. Yeah. yeah. Well, awesome. Um, Here's the thing, again, I'm sure that I'm gonna say this in every single podcast, but this is one of those things we could talk about for 10 hours straight. Easy, PPC, easy, so 10 much. hours, oh, yeah. no problem, yeah. Yeah. not an issue. Yeah. But um, you know, we all got things to do. Yeah. 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 So um, with that, I do wanna say thank you, obviously, very yeah. much for coming on Absolutely. and sharing us, you know, some insight and, and uh, also just, you know, being willing to kind of tell us background and everything like that. So Absolutely. thank you for coming on. Well, we'll have you on again, I'm sure. You know, you do just live down the street. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, good. Um, with that, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, you know, definitely make sure to subscribe um, if the platform, again, realize that we have this on Spotify already. Apple's giving us a hard time, but we're gonna have that up shortly. Mm -hmm. It's on YouTube, the mm -hmm. video version. Um, I already know that, you know, it's, it's, it's gonna grow, and mm -hmm. we have um, an awesome guest. Oh, Lorelai has Perfect such timing. good timing. Perfect You're timing. Sending in the babies waking up. Um, two kids, two kids, yeah. two kids. Yeah. So you know, there's. I, that. I also have two kids. <laughs> <laughs> You're married to her. I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, she has three kids. I have two. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> true. It's actually true. It's My wife would say true. the same thing. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's. It's definitely, we have Marty Sherman, who is a just a god when it comes to, um, you know, sourcing from China. He's been doing it for like yeah. 30 years. So Something he's crazy. on next week. Um, yeah, so we've got a lot of really good, a lot of really good guests coming up, but um, make sure to subscribe. If you like, if you can on that platform, like it, mm -hmm. turn on the bell, notifications, all that good stuff. And um, otherwise, we will see you guys next time. Yep. This is AMC Seller Real Talk. It's been real. Take care. <laughs> oh, sorry, wrong one. It's okay, we can, you know. <laughs> Stop. Sorry, wrong one. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Bye, everybody.